Did the US Air Force just release actual video footage of the NGAD, the next generation air dominance concept that will be produced? So a few days ago, as the time of this video being released, Air Force Recruiting released a video that... There are pivotal moments in military aviation that signal the arrival of new standards in the sky, reshaping the possibilities for the future of warfare. Across decades of technological evolution, a few of these milestones have achieved legendary status. The unprecedented speed of the SR-71 Blackbird, the stealth debut of the F-117 Nighthawk, and the introduction of the B-2 Spirit, each pushing boundaries in its own way. In November 2025, another such moment arrived, offering the world its first clear look at the United States Air Force's newest advanced aircraft, the F-47. Developed as part of the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, fighter program. For years, the F-47 was the subject of intense speculation, with details buried deep within classified programs and only the barest hints emerging through defense circles. Its name, capabilities, and even existence were matters for debate among experts and enthusiasts alike. With little more than manufacturing rumors and online speculation as evidence. Then came a break. High fidelity hangar footage, apparently originating from Air Force test hangars in Nevada, began circulating. Unlike the hazy smartphone captures that occasionally leak, this footage offered striking clarity, revealing technical details that had previously been the subject of rumor and conjecture. For analysts and policymakers, this was not fiction. This was a demonstration of a new platform with the potential to alter the shape of air combat. In those minutes of film, the F-47 NGAD was shown in multiple operational contexts, patrolling above the wilderness near the Alaska-Russian border, in test flights over Nevada, and flying in formation with Air Force One above an American city. Each sighting gave substance to discussions that had, until then, existed in theory. A look at a jet that appeared to represent a leap, not just an iteration, in stealth, speed, and adaptability. This leaves observers with critical questions. What did the world truly see in those images? What distinguishes the F-47 from previous generations of fighters? And how significant a shift does it represent for both American air power and the broader notion of aerial warfare? As the implications of this footage reverberate, these questions now move to the heart of defense debates. Unveiling the airframe, the F-47 NGAD's first real exposures. The arrival of F-47 footage was not part of a traditional rollout. There was no staged event or public reveal. Instead, the broader public and many foreign observers were introduced to NGAD through apparent leaks marked by a degree of ambiguity and speculation consistent with a highly classified program. The footage reportedly originated from testing grounds in Nevada, long associated with advanced aerospace development and shielded by rigorous security. The aircraft seen in those clips stood out from legacy fighters. Its lines were minimalist and smooth, with no conventional angles or external weapon bays in view. The absence of vertical stabilizers and the integration of features into the fuselage suggest a design deeply committed to stealth principles. While specifics were not disclosed, visual cues pointed to new approaches in concealing both payload and pilot, presenting a reduced signature and, perhaps, a new level of pilot integration within the aircraft itself. This was a step beyond the F-22 and F-35 designs aircraft already considered cutting edge in low observability. Of particular interest in the footage was the way the F-47 appeared to transition between configurations while in flight. While not proven as morphing geometry, the aircraft showed flexible, adaptive surfaces and engaged in aerodynamic maneuvers that suggest a new level of control authority potentially aided by sophisticated flight management systems. The existence of these features supports speculation that the NGAD program aims to produce a sixth-generation fighter with highly integrated air superiority and electronic warfare capabilities. Again, moving from single-role specialization to multi-domain flexibility. Just as notable were indications of advanced munitions integration, 
Rather than visible missile mounts or protrusions, weapons appeared to be fully enclosed within the airframe, hinting at a conformal carriage approach. This supports assessments that the NGAD would prioritize both stealth and lethality, enabling the platform to linger in contested spaces and respond with force without compromising its low observable profile. For engineers and analysts, such characteristics are not mere technical achievements. They are the markers of a platform designed from the outset to contend with future threats. As adversary air defenses and anti-stealth technologies continue to evolve, the requirement for adaptability, from emissions control to thermal management, has become critical. The F-47's surfaces, seamless design, and apparent ability to obscure its heat signature suggest that survivability and operational effectiveness were key priorities. But as with all advanced military programs, these partial glimpses, while compelling, prompt further questions about doctrine. Will a fighter with such adaptability transform the balance between offensive and defensive operations in contested airspace? The F-47, at least as it appears in these early frames, implies an affirmative answer. Over Alaska, stealth, persistence, and the changing face of air patrol. Some of the most telling F-47 footage did not come from staged test flights, but rather from patrols near the critical geographic juncture of the Alaska-Russian border. This area has long been a hotbed for strategic signaling. Russian military aircraft regularly conduct patrols here, and US and Allied forces are tasked with ongoing airspace defense. The environment is demanding, remote, cold, and with complicated logistics for air operations. Contextually, fifth-generation fighters such as the F-22 and F-35 operate in these regions with mixed constraints. Extended patrols require careful management of fuel and access to refueling assets, all while minimizing electronic emissions and radar signatures. Each logistical necessity, such as aerial tankers, represents not just a support point, but a potential vulnerability to surveillance or attack. The F-47, as shown in the leaked material, appeared to operate above these constraints. It was depicted maintaining extended patrol over the border region without obvious external support or detectable emissions, suggesting improvements in both fuel management and emissions control. The absence of digital emissions points to advanced operational security, and the lack of detectable infrared or radar signature aligns with efforts to render future fighters less vulnerable to enemy detection. The footage also suggested that the F-47 did not patrol alone. Several aircraft, flying in coordinated formation, hinted at the possible use of advanced networks for shared sensing and decision-making. While open-source details on these capabilities are lacking, this supports existing concepts in US Air Force doctrine regarding distributed strike and sensor clouds, in which multiple advanced platforms share data instantaneously to increase situational awareness and resilience. If these features are borne out, the F-47's operations near Alaska mark a significant evolution in the logic of deterrence. Traditional models of air defense, scrambling interceptors, tracking tankers, or monitoring communications are tested by platforms that minimize their detectable presence and maximize endurance, all while sharing operational awareness across multiple vectors. For rivals, this raises doubts about the efficacy of existing early warning and air defense networks. Testing in Nevada, pushing the boundaries of air combat. The Nevada test range remains the cradle for advanced US military flight testing, its restricted airspace and culture of secrecy providing the ideal ground for assessing next generation capabilities. Publicly available footage or detailed test results are rarely published, but the recent leaked footage gave rare visual cues about the F-47's developmental trajectory. Key among these was the aircraft's versatility in flight, high-speed transitions, stable loitering at lower speeds, and precision in tight turns. Such characteristics are crucial not only for survival, but for effective engagement in future air tactics, where adaptability and rapidly changing roles may prove decisive. The apparent agility of the F-47, suggested by its rapid transitions between maneuvering regimes, points to advanced control surfaces and digital flight systems. 
there is informed speculation that these features might leverage AI-driven assistance, a natural progression given the increasing complexity and speed of modern air engagements. The footage also reinforced observations about the F-47's weapons integration. Unlike previous platforms that either sacrificed stealth for armament or endured limits on loadout due to internal storage, the conformal carriage approach allows the F-47 to retain its low observable profile until the moment a weapon is needed. This feature reinforces the NGAD's potential to penetrate heavily defended airspace and respond with immediate force. Observers noted the apparent lack of a traditional cockpit, fueling debate about whether the platform is intended to fly with or without a pilot under different circumstances. While unmanned or optionally manned configurations remain speculative, the visible features suggest the NGAD family could allow for operational flexibility as technology and policy allow. Such flexibility would be an important step for risk management in high threat missions. Not every technical detail in the footage could be fully analyzed, but the visible features mark the F-47 as the product of a focused response to current and projected threats. Leveraging lessons from recent conflicts and classified research into a platform meant to perform in the world's most contested airspaces, escorting Air Force One, strategic messaging in the digital era. Among the more memorable images was that of Air Force One flying above an NFL stadium, flanked by a pair of F-47s. This sighting was notable for both its symbolism and its operational implications. Traditionally, Presidential escorts are handled by proven legacy fighters, but the choice to visibly deploy the F-47 signals a high degree of confidence in the platform and a willingness to display it openly, despite its previously classified status. In practice, the F-47s were shown maintaining close, precise formation with the presidential aircraft, their digital silence preserved even as they entered the public eye. No flight tracker data was available, and the jets remain largely unregistered by amateur spotters, highlighting their resilience to both traditional and modern open-source surveillance methods. For allies and rivals alike, the message is dual-layered. On one hand, the United States demonstrates the operational faith it places in its newest platform, deploying it for critical national missions. On the other hand, the act of displaying the F-47, albeit with minimal publicly accessible details, serves as a reminder that the US is pursuing and fielding capabilities that may outpace those of its adversaries in both technology and integration. The F-47's appearance during such a high-profile event also sends a message to the domestic audience and policymakers. This is no paper project, but an asset that has progressed from development into operational status with practical applications for strategic and national security missions. NGAD Ascendant, changing the rules of air combat. The sum of evidence from hangar and patrol footage supports the conclusion that the F-47 marks a fundamental advance. While the Air Force has stated, through leadership such as Chief of Staff General David Alvin, that the official first flight is planned for 2028. The appearance of operational F-47s in multiple contexts signals a high state of program maturity and readiness. This is not simply an evolution of previous fighters. It is a leap that compresses generations of progress into a single platform. Historically, air dominance has relied upon incremental improvements, faster speeds, smaller radar signatures, more effective networks, and a greater ability to share and process data with each new jet. From the F-15 to the F-22 and F-35, the approach has been to refine, integrate, and adapt to emerging threats. The F-47, as seen in public and semi-public footage, disrupts these patterns. Its suite of adaptive stealth, advanced weapons integration, and apparent digital coordination serves as a demonstration of the Air Force's intent to anchor future air superiority in platforms that can persist in the face of advanced anti-access and area denial systems. Old approaches, such as detecting fighters by radar or tracking their support assets, face new challenges against a platform designed for deep penetration 
and persistent presence in contested zones. The nature of air combat itself shifts with platforms like the F-47, the coordination required for networked operations, the role of autonomy and real-time data sharing, and the integration of AI for flight and tactical decision-making mean that the F-47 is as much a digital node on the battle space as a traditional weapons platform. In contested environments, it would be able to combine surveillance, information warfare, and kinetic effects, potentially reshaping the calculus of force employment. Strategic ripples, deterrence and global posture. The strategic implications of the F-47's emergence go far beyond tactics or platform-centric improvement. As a fielded capability, its very existence prompts shifts in how deterrence is measured and how alliances are structured. The ability to operate in adversary airspace, undetected and unimpeded, represents a strategic asymmetry, one that demands response and adaptation by potential rivals. For Russia and China, whose own next-generation fighter programs, Su-57, J-20 and others, have sought parity with US capabilities, the appearance of the F-47 moves the marker forward yet again. Legacy investments in advanced air defenses and anti-stealth technologies must now contend with a new benchmark. For US allies, the NGAD represents both an opportunity for deeper integration and learning, and an incentive to maintain close technological ties. This new generation of aerial dominance, epitomized by the F-47, has the potential to shift investment across the globe. Defensive innovation, new sensors, advanced data fusion, and unconventional detection methods will accelerate, as will the pursuit of countermeasures, electronic warfare capabilities, and networked air defense. Within US policy, the fielding of NGAD brings both opportunity and new challenges. The operational use of such an advanced system will require reassessment of acquisition, export control, and even arms limitation strategies. In regions where the F-47 is present, the distribution of military risk and potential for escalation may also change, affecting long-standing models of crisis management and force posture. However, as with all advances in military technology, the emergence of the F-47 is not the end point of competition. History demonstrates that each leap produces counter leaps. Adversaries will study, adapt, and seek to neutralize such advantages. The cycle of innovation will continue, and the F-47 marks not the end of this process, but the next beginning, a catalyst for further change in how the air domain is contested and controlled. A new era shaped by technological progress, the public emergence of the F-47 NGAD through hangar footage, operational patrols, and high-profile missions represents a threshold for military aviation. From developmental secrecy to public mission roles, the F-47 signals the US Air Force's willingness to pioneer new approaches in technology, doctrine, and concept of operations. In the coming years, the path that started with these November 2025 sightings will continue. Further testing, fielding of additional squadrons, and increased integration between manned and unmanned assets on the digital battle space. With every deployment and further refinement, the operational lessons and capabilities of the F-47 will inform not just American air power, but the posture and planning of friends and foes around the world. The future of air combat will no longer belong solely to those who command the most numerous or physically intimidating fleets, but to those who invest in adaptability, secure digital networks, and forward-looking doctrine. The legacy of the F-47's introduction may prove to be its acceleration of this transformation. The shift toward networks, digital coordination, and operating concepts that meet not only present-day threats, but anticipate those of the decades ahead. As the echoes of the F-47's November appearances reverberate, one fact is clear. The balance of power in the air will continue to evolve, shaped by those who dare to invest in the possible, and by those willing to rethink old assumptions in the face of technological progress. The era of the F-47 NGAD has begun, and the future of global air dominance is being written, one flight at a time.